Hey everybody! Oh, I don't even know what to say anymore. It's been so long. Well, it's not really a talk to you. Oh. Yeah, it kind of is. I mean, it was requested. Hi everybody and welcome back to Sam and Jay. No! Hi everybody, welcome back and talk to you. Hi everyone! And welcome back to Talk Tuesday with Sam. And Jay. Nailed it. Hello. So, someone requested us for this Talk Tuesdays to be last minute gift ideas for Father's Day. Now, 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 bleh, bleh. now you guys know I'm the queen of last minute. Everything is always to the last minute. Mm -hmm. However, we did it in ahead of time this time. Like, Jay yeah. has already gotten his awesome. Father's Day gifts early this year because because I'm spoiled that's true and you love me so very much I just can't be bothered to wait honestly and it was a chance for us to go shopping and him pick out the stuff he's really hard to shop for mm -hmm. so if you're really really having a hard time shopping for your husband for Father's Day you can just take them somewhere just uh, I think that was the easiest thing ask mm -hmm. me where I wanted to go what mm -hmm. I wanted to get and I yeah. got it because I I'm one of those men who I either need a Ferrari or nothing. Yeah, eh. he's very hard. It's like, meh. Not that I'm going to go get a Ferrari, but you know what I mean. Like, yeah. It, it, it's just, it's I don't difficult. get pleased or whatever. Yeah, very easily. so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to take you shopping and let you pick out the clothes you want. That way you can try them on. So basically, he got like a whole new wardrobe Incredible. for Father's Day, which I will link that video down with the try-on haul so you can see exactly everything that we got. It was all from Old Navy. M amazing sales. Untrue. Amazing sales. It's just like a four dollar shirt. If you need, yeah, if you need to get new clothes for Father's Day, you should go to Lamy. They fit good too. They do fit really I, well. I've got shoulders and arms and, and thickness and, and and I've always loved Old Navy stuff. Yeah, really, I really have. And, and they're so affordable. It, it, if, to get a shirt for eight bucks, it, winning. So, uh, also, this was like his other like super. I think you were the most excited about this, right? Oh, I love it. This was it. his like present so this is by Kenneth Cole and basically he just likes it when let's see if we can get up close and personal I love here. how how it's got all the gears and the wiggles yeah, he and, likes and, and, when and, you can see and you can see through it oh his camera is having a hard time focusing on it yeah it's tough it's a real real toughy anyway it's got all the gears so it's a pretty nice watch and in the back it has oh yeah the back is see-through really cool little winder in it See, and you can, it's, yeah. it's there we see go. through. Yeah, it's so cool. I, I so, just love it. Um, I just love it. It's by Kenneth Cole. We just got it at yep. TG Maxx. TG Maxx. So, yeah, and that was so another nice. thing that, like, I wanted to get him, but I didn't know what style he wanted. I would have got something completely different. So, yeah. I just says, I just said, babe, pick out a watch we, that we, you like. We were looking through there after she had said that, and I was just like... <laughs> yeah. So, I feel like please, sometimes please. men are just so difficult, you just gotta ask them what they want. I do have some cologne recommendations for you guys that Jay absolutely loves, that I love too. Mm -hmm. The first one is probably our favorite, right? You're gonna do it in favorite order? I think so. Perfect. So, this one is amazing. This is called Bulgari Agva. I don't know how you say it. It's so, oh, um. it's so good. I won't wear it all day, and I'll spray it on myself before bed. He he just like it's he. Just you can see so he only saves amazing. it for special moments because it's really just so oh, good. It's so um, good. And it's called Oh Agva Atlant Atlantique. Uh, I have no idea, but it looks like this. It's very confusing to say, but it smells fresh, right? Would you say it's fresh, marini, with a sexiness? I don't know. It's just. It's, it's, There's a spice like and a it. freshness and a sexiness all into one. It smells so good, honestly, guys. Best cologne mm -hmm. ever. Ever. Number of, two. Of, of all the ones that we've loved, and some there's there's still some in here that some good ones. we really love. Like this one, for example. This one is next. This is a uh, Issy Miyake Lo de Issy. I'm sorry, I don't speak French well. Um, <laughs> but it's honestly it's honeysuckle and it smells. Yeah, <sighs> It's so good oh. still. If you haven't it's tried so this good. one, you've got. To it try smells it. like it's like a sweet honeysuckle, but it's like a, a it's like a a masculine honeysuckle, if that mm. makes sense. Like it's so good, and it just smells so good on him. It like lasts throughout the day. So this is another really great option. That's what I think I really like about the the, the really good colognes is you actually don't use as much yeah, because they just linger they just on, linger, and then and they, they melt into so you and like. 
So oh, that one's so good. This one's yeah. pretty awesome, yeah. Um, so that's our second favorite. So number three is Hugo Boss, just the original. These lights are so bright. Yeah, it's pretty sucky. How do you do? This? Oh, that's Sorry so if sweet I'm like all too. Squinty, like it's like a sun. sweet spice. Oh God, you need to wear this right now. You haven't worn this for a while, have you? Uh -uh. Oh, that is good. Ah, uh, so it's good. So also, ladies, that you can wear this yourself, and it smells really good, and it changes mm -hmm. with your chemistry. It's really good. It's sweet enough it to wear. It works mixing too. Yeah, you can mix it with other stuff. It's so good. This is a classic. This is, I actually got turned on to this from my first boyfriend when I was 13. That's why I have to wear it. Sorry, babe. <laughs> but um, he used to wear it, and I was like, dang, he smells so good. And I've been hooked on it ever since, and I love it so much. So It's, it, it's amazing. It really is. I really do like it. And, it, and, and truthfully, you can hit some Issy and then go over with that Hugo Boss, and it, they and it, it well. melt really well. Yeah. It's, it's, it's Good. Okay, and then we have La Homme by Yves Long. Butchered that, I'm sure. Man, I don't know how to describe any of these darn colognes, but you just gotta go smell them. Go to Ulta and smell them. They're available at Ulta or Macy's or Dillard's. What would you say that was like? This, see, I, don't, I can't describe it by it smells like uh, flowers or something. It, this is my, I don't want to be smelling too strong mm. but I still so want to smell like good. every day this is a very good every day gotcha. yes. okay um, because the the issy is 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 like you got to be somewhere where you smell good or be trying to impress people you know same with the, the was it the agva or whatever agva. This, this one is a nice it is a good every day daily it's not intense I no, mean, it's, it's not very, good but it's not like it, it, whoa it's very light day. and you're like oh that's a yeah. really nice smell. and the bottle is really nice too mm -hmm. I mean it's Yves Saint Laurent yeah fancy and then last but not least i actually really do love this you one. do love this one this is the dolce e gabbana the one as you can see it's almost gone yeah, so I he really did love like it. it and this one that's a bit more spicy wouldn't you say you wore this it's, a lot in the winter yeah it's a it's a good everyday winter yeah it spicy. is a very kind of fallish wintry scent you can smell or it or nighttime yeah it's a nighttime one. i really like that one a lot. yeah i love all of these they're all ones. really good they're, they're i mean you just gotta smell them all Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, also this jacket specifically you love, I, wouldn't you say? This was from Old Navy. It was on sale. I think it was 20% off. And I don't know what it was called, but it's basically just this like green awesome jacket and he loves it. And um, it's really great for this time of year because, you know, sometimes the nights are cooler, especially where we live where oh, it snows. So. so that's a really nice jacket. So maybe if I feel like men at least Jay, is terrible about getting jackets. So he has like a coat for the winter and then there's nothing, it's like a mm. hoodie. Yep. And so I really wanted him to have a nice jacket that was like, still, you know, looks good, but is not too heavy. But and also also fits comfortably. Yeah. Because when I reach for something and it pulls on my sleeve, he doesn't like it drives that. me crazy. If I'm driving the car and it's like, you mm -hmm. know, tight in my back. And I, I, so this mm -hmm. was my perfect coat. So that's a good one. I and really it's, like it, it looks nice, it's dressy enough. Mm -hmm. But it's not like, you know, it's just really nice. Yeah. So, so the yes. green with the camo and stuff inside. Yeah. So then if you are on a budget and you want to do something special from the kids, we did this years ago. You'll be able to tell from the pictures. But basically, I went to my friend's house and we just took pictures with our vlog camera. And he was just sitting on a black leather couch and we cut out little letters. Um, you can just get poster board or you can get that foam kind of, I don't know, it's like foam, not foam. Yeah, it's foamy, right? The green stuff? No, it's like little black foam. You can get it at like Target or Walmart or Michaels. And we basically just put little like chalk paint on them and made little letters that says dad. And that's really cute. Love and it. it's really affordable because you just need the little craft supplies. And then you just need a cute little frame and then they can have that on their desk at work or on their nightstand or whatever they want to put it on and it's just really cute. So that is what we did a few years ago with Phoenix and it was pretty much, you liked it, right? I, I, I love it. It's very, I, I still love it. And that's like a nice e sentimental even one. Even if you're not on a budget and you just yeah. are thinking of something sentimental, it, yeah. I, it really is clever. It's pretty cute. It's really great, yeah. Another good idea would be like a cute key ring with yeah. like a picture of kids or something in there. That would be super cute. Or even if they did like a little um, craft and you stuck it on, you hot glue gunned it onto a key ring or a magnet or something mm -hmm. cute like that. Those are always really fun if you have like little ones. Um, also, oh my god, I seriously have a hair tickling. Do you see it? Let me see. It's a bright hair. I gotta be able to see it. I feel it. Oh god, it's on the tip of my nose. Do you feel that? 
Do you feel that? No, it's not in there. It's like right here. What? I don't see anything. <laughs> I hate it. Um, another thing now, this is obviously womanly, but Swell water bottles have really, really, really cool men's choices. Those wooden ones, mm -hmm. the metallic ones. Mm -hmm. You have, you liked some of them, didn't you? I, I think this is a great, a great bottle. This is amazing because I mean, obviously Jay drinks a lot of water, but he works out. So if your um, man is going out and hiking or fishing or whatever he does, whatever. working out. Do you know that's a great idea? You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. who doesn't want? A big bottle of water that actually stays cold. This will stay cold as long as you leave the lid screwed on for days. Like literally, yeah. if you put ice We've in here and water, it. yeah, we have. <laughs> it will stay cold for so long. So there's a lot of men that I think are outdoorsy that do want cold water. Mm -hmm. And this is like, I think they're what? 40 bucks? They're like they're 35 little, or 40 they're bucks. They're a little expensive, but worth it. They're totally worth so it. So worth it. And they really do have so manly, they have like ones that have like trees they got save room in your cooler ones. yeah it's you wouldn't have and to put ice in there and yeah. have your, your water bottles it's so it, good it, it is so good days that thing stays yeah but it's weird it's really weird it's like how is <laughs> it's that like, even possible it's like a 40 dollar magic bottle yeah it's crazy but, but like the designs you got to just go check it yeah. out on the website because the designs are super duper cool and it's unbelievable how well it keeps your water cold it's like insane like we're totally nerding out by it right now. It's like, it's like so cool. no, I mean, it sounds pathetic, but like we're not sponsored. <laughs> no, by no, no. Them in any you way. put ice in there, not fill it, it up, us. screw it on. Two or three days it's later, so it could be sitting cold. in your car. Yeah, in the hot sun, <laughs> and it's still cold. cold. I don't know how they do it, but it's amazing. Oh. And then what else do you recommend? I mean, obviously, whatever the person's interests are. Yeah, if it, if 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 I was a, an avid fisherman, hunter, bozeman, gun, whatever, if I was any of those things, by all means. Get whatever get, they're interested in. That, or take me to REI or whoever your local uh -huh. place is and say, babe, we're gonna go to lunch and go to yeah. fill in the blank. I'd be like, oh, really? Also, what was it last year? I paid for him and his best friend oh, to great. go on a man trip. So they went to San Francisco and it wasn't anything spectacular. Nope. It wasn't flights. They just we drove so down. Fun. It was like a three and a half hour drive. And I got a really nice hotel for them. And they went and just had a man. That was the best part. Yeah. The really nice hotel. Oh, did you like that? Because we were able to like live a little extravagant yeah. in the hotel, but then walk downtown and go mess around. Yeah, it and it's like, it was, it was his time to like have like a little getaway with his friend, no kids, and just go and be ridiculous hooligans. The, you did the beer tour. Yeah, oh yeah, the beer tour. It was tour. before he knew that That's he was allergic was. to uh, wheat. wheat and all that stuff. So like they went and did like a beer tour. It's on you the, had you had a good time. It's on the blog. We'll link the, the blog, blog below. And Instagram um, but they had a really good time, and it was really nice. And like I that think, was really fun. Yeah. So that, a little trip like that. This like these sentimental things. Mm -hmm. you'd, be, you'd be surprised how sentimental men really are. We love love being loved and love loving our family. And if yeah. we like, mm -hmm. and I feel like great. also it. I feel like men, in my opinion always want some time alone with their spouse, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you could have a trip away, just you and me to San Francisco, you would love that, right? There, there's, there's just never time yeah. of, of that. And I mean, it, and it's you not have a, a night time it's, it's alone, just, you go to sleep, but like... I think it's a mental thing where you're like, to have a oh, trip for like here. a weekend yeah, that would away be from epic. the kids. If that San Francisco trip was with you. Oh, you bet you'd have a nice time. That would have been no, but so I feel fun. like that way they feel like all the attention is on them. Because at the end of the day, it's hard when you're a mom trying to juggle True. your your attention between your husband and your kids. And raising a family. You want to be able to do everything, you know, really, mm -hmm. really well, but you can't do everything 100%. So sometimes... Well, usually they get like left out, I would say. Oh no, never. Pretty mm much. -hmm. So, <laughs> a nice weekend away with your man. If you have people mm -hmm. to watch your kids, it would be very nice as well. Just to plan a little romantic mm -hmm. getaway for them. Yeah. Right? That sounds pretty awesome. Too bad it's not happening. You got a closet. No, no, no. That's, that, I got a closet to watch that I love. Maybe but next year. Maybe next year. Okay. So there's <laughs> our ideas, our last minute ideas. I think everything is, everything mm -hmm. of this is last minute. You can do it, you can do it Cologne all. Cologne you can pick up real easy. Amazon Prime. Yeah. Two days. Yeah, I have it to your hat. What, what else? Like the, the going, a trip to the store it is, it, you know your husband's probably favorite-ish mm -hmm. type mm -hmm. of store. To take them, take them there. Get a gift card. You'd be surprised how, how much we like to shop when we can. 
Because mm-hmm. boy, I sure like to. When it's for you. <laughs> Man, oh, yeah. I'll be like, this and this. Yeah, but you had a good time. That was great. You had like a little I, shopping I had, spree. I had fun by You did clothes. have, yeah, you had a, you really liked it. It, it, it was he, it, he liked cool, having the attention you know? for mm-hmm. once. Because it's usually always Maybe about the kids. Was. He was like, what's all about me, girl? Mm. <laughs> Everybody's waiting on me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's true. And at the end of the day, men are just babies. All they want is some attention. It's true. Which it's it's so true. It really is. It, yeah. And, and if you're mad at me, men out there, whatever. You're a baby. That means you're being a baby. Ah. Yeah. So like, it's, it's, <laughs> no, but for real. It's, it's, it's all good. But like, yeah, just 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 snuggle us a little bit. Just you give know? them a little more attention. But I think that's good. <laughs> winning. Totally we did winning. Good. So there you go, guys. I hope you guys found that helpful. I hope so, um, yeah. Definitely check out this clothes. Definitely check out those colognes. Sniff them. Mm-hmm. you got to sniff them. And then you'll be like, oh. <gasps> There, That's it, what Jay smells like. It's a very versatile array of, of smells, too. From yeah, it is. old school, the yeah. Hugo, to the dailies, to, yeah. Check um, them out. Yeah, so yeah, go smell those. Check out the man styles of the Swell Bottle. I'm telling you, they've got some awesome designs. They're so cool, and they're manly, and it's just an awesome water bottle. So, mm-hmm. yeah. And it would save room in a cooler. That's really clever, babe. Yeah, I know. I'm genius. <sighs> man. We're going to go now. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Happy Father's Day to all of the fathers out there. I hope you guys all have an amazing week. (laughs) (laughs) For being a father. (laughs) Congratulations. Um, We hope you have a great weekend. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, P.S. I dropped the camera in a puddle today. Mm -hmm. So um, you're going to see half of a vlog tomorrow. (laughs) Because... Then the camera died. I literally dropped it in a freaking puddle. It like submerged in the puddle water. Um, so we, that's it. We have no more vlog cameras. We have broken every single one that we own. So I had to order one on Amazon and I did get protection this time um, because <laughs> that one didn't have protection. Can you believe you didn't get what protection is wrong last with time? me? It was only sixty-three dollars. I don't know what I was doing. You were just cheaping out. No, I don't even remember. I don't even know what I was doing. Maybe they didn't have a protection. Maybe, maybe it didn't pop up, and I didn't think about. I don't know what happened. But anyway, I got a protection plan on this one no for four years, um, but oh. it, I got overnight shipping, so it should be here tomorrow afternoon. I'm assuming. Is it Amazon? Yeah, yep. Amazon. Probably will be. But the t- the vlog that you'll be seeing tomorrow will be half. It'll be cut off. There won't be a goodbye. It'll just be done. So Dropped in a puddle done. Are you going to leave it up to that point, I hope, right? Yeah, that'll be it. It'll just be like... <laughs> I mean, no, it wasn't filming. It fell out of my oh, pocket. Nuts. So there's not even, like, I don't even have not even proof. Cool. It's not even cool of it being in the puddle because it wasn't even a recording. It was a bit of a crap day, to yeah. be honest. I was like... That's an expensive camera to not have protection on life. that you drop. I mean, Cassie's wedding, he broke his with coffee, yeah. and I gave him a bunch of crap. We actually got to fight about it, because I was like, you're so ridiculous. You don't take good care of your stuff. Didn't you also say that I wasn't allowed to touch the... Yeah, I told him he wasn't allowed to touch my camera anymore, so he wasn't allowed to vlog anymore, because I didn't want him ruining my camera. And then I dropped it in a puddle. So... It's totally cool. Don't even worry about and we are not ordering two. We're just gonna do one again because this is getting out of hand. We spent so much money on this freaking camera. <sighs> it's depressing. Anyway, Don't even get me started. Rant of the day. I'm so mad at myself. Anyway, happy Father's Day. Let's leave on a good note. <laughs> Bye. Bye.